The other day I was asked a really good question and it was in training when do you wear spikes and the answer I can only give was you wear your spikes when you're training in game like situations for example let's say you're working on your top end speed mechanics your your high end turnover and etc that's where you would want to use your spikes if you're jumping and you're working on your high end game speed jumps such as full approach or just working on a new speed then you want to have your spikes on but there's always a window you don't just put spikes on when you start training spikes are very dangerous when it comes to being used as a training tool and what that means is when you wear spikes there is a higher level of impact reason for it is because the more cushion you have within your feet or shoes or whatever it is the less response you get now what I mean from that is if you were to jump train on a pillow versus a carpet the pillow is going to have way more support way more comfort but it's not going to give you anything back so when you jump it's going to give more within the compression but it's not going to give you anything back when you jump so you're essentially going to be losing power because some of that power is lost in transition when you jump on a carpet the carpet is more firm and so the response time is less so when you jump it's going to load and go and it's going to give up less in transition so you're actually going to get more force production in the in the end out of jumping on the carpet than it is jumping on a pillow even though jumping on the pillow is going to create less impact um, within your body so what I'm trying to get to is there has to be a scheduled time for your spikes and jump training and so on because there are very very vital ligaments tendons and bones within the foot and also your joints are very important so when you're training we always jump train either on the sand on the grass or when we're in season we always train in our flats our tennis shoes and the shoes that we happen to use are the Nike Pegasus the main focus is when you're running and jumping your feet also have to learn how to recover so when you're jumping and you just go from normal jump training to your spikes your feet need days to get used to recovering you may train today you're ready to jump tomorrow but your feet aren't let your feet recover because if you don't there's things such as plantar fasciitis there's things such as bruised heels and so on so it's very important to take care of your feet because that is your base then from there if you are wearing the correct shoes but you are also doing too much too soon then the problem may become that you're going to get impact injuries which are shin splints which are tendinitis you know other impact injuries like that they may come up is because you're doing too much too soon allowing your body to recover and you're not really taking care of your body how it needs to icing resting programming your days to where there's hard workouts that are before or after easy workouts that are lower or higher in impact so be mindful of your body taking care of it but also getting the most reward with the least amount of risk till next time